who's ready for a universal haul? <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today I have the largest Harry Potter haul from Universal Studios, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter haul for you today. So before we get started, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. I'm very excited to get into all of these bags from Universal. They've just been sitting here. I haven't been able to put anything out just yet because I wanted to make sure that I included everything that I purchased from the Wizarding World in this haul for you guys. And I don't want to miss anything if I started taking things out. I don't want to forget. I definitely had a treat yourself moment while there because we were celebrating my birthday. So I've been putting a little bit of money aside knowing that this trip was coming up. I haven't been to the Wizarding World in over a year or about a year. <laughs> so it's been very anticipated. There's been things I had on my wish list that I've been wanting to get. And they've had some new items released. I was just so excited. And it's Christmas coming up. So... You know, there's gonna be some Christmassy type items in here. And then I had some very kind friends and family members that had sent me over some money to just enjoy at the Wizarding World. So with all that being said, this is gonna be quite a big haul for me in one trip. I don't think I've ever spent this much in just one trip, but just keep that in mind. It was my birthday and I've been saving for this, so. That's why you might be seeing a lot more than normal. But let's go ahead and get into the haul. All right, first we'll start with this bag. It is a very thin bag. I think there's only two things in here. All right, the first item and the one that kind of got a bit bent. I'm a little sad about it. It is the Quibbler. It's got the Spectro Specs glasses on the front. Let me take it out of this plastic wrap so you don't have any like reflection. You can really see it. And this Quibbler print with the Spectro Specs retails for six dollars and 95 cents oh, this is really bent oh my gosh that's not good see that it's probably when i was packing it or walking around the park with it but i wanted to frame this oh my gosh that is so creased i don't know if that's picking up on the camera oh well i think it'll be fine once i frame it but it wasn't too expensive so i'm not too upset but oh that is a shame so I think you can actually pop these out. Yeah, pop out here and you can actually wear these, but I wanna keep it like so, so I can frame it and put it on my walls in this room. But that is the first item, the Quibbler print, or you can just take the glasses off and wear them if you want to. Can you see how you can kinda, they're like sticking out a little bit. Super cool, I really like that. And this is probably one of the cheapest things you can buy from the Wizarding World at Universal. So $6.95, not too bad. All right, next is going to be this Mina Lima card. So this is the Whomping Willow. Let me take it out of the plastic wrap. And this one retails for $6. So I just said that that was probably the cheapest. Maybe the cards, <laughs> these are the cheapest things that you could probably buy. Okay, so I had to get out of the plastic wrap because do you see that? There is some gold foiling on this card and this is a card that you can mail out. You can actually use the owl post there at the Wizarding World and mail this to someone special. But it just comes with this gold envelope and then on the inside it is just plain and then on the very back it says the Whomping Willow from the Marauder's Map, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And it has the Mina Lima stamp on here as well. And it's so pretty. So it just says Whomping Willow all over it. Uh, so I actually want to put this in a frame on its own and not use it as a card. But you could totally buy some and mail them out to some special Potter heads you have in your family or life. <laughs> and then I had a couple other little bonus items in that bag. So we ate at the Hard Rock Cafe and they gave this to me. Since it was my birthday, they gave me this and a Sunday for free. So I thought that was nice. So that's another bonus item. While I was at Universal, I became a annual pass holder again. And annual pass holders get some perks. So every month they come out with these pins that you have to go into the park to receive. So this is what this month's pin is. It's to represent the movie Twister. So cute. So I got that pin for free. And then I went to the annual pass holder lounge to pick that up and they also had some of their holiday magnets. So you can put these on your cars, on your fridge, wherever you can put a magnet. 
So that is what they have for the holidays. And also since I went during my birthday, you can go to guest services and pick up a birthday pin. So for the birthday person, they give you this one and it'll say, it's my birthday. They'll write your name on there and it has universal and it's orange. And then if you're going with somebody, any of your guests that are with you will have a blue pin and they'll say like, I'm celebrating and then what they're celebrating. So that's really cool that they do that. So you just have to go to guest services and you can pick up one of these pins. All right, back to the Harry Potter stuff. All right, we'll go into this big bag, kind of heavy. So let's see what I have in this one. Okay, so I just emptied everything from this bag onto the desk, so we have a second empty bag. All right, first off, I got a butterbeer while I was there, of course, and I got it in the souvenir cup because I had a souvenir cup from a long time ago when I went before, but I couldn't find it, so I was like, I should get a new one. And this is what it looks like. It just has the butterbeer logo on both sides, and it is plastic. And you can actually bring this back to the park every time you go and you can get refills at a discounted rate. You can get like sodas in here and stuff too at the like refillable rates. I don't remember them offhand, but they did tell me that when I was, when I did get the souvenir cup. So that is cool if this is included with that deal. All right, next is in this bag. Oh, <laughs> this is some butterbeer fudge. So you would have seen me try this in my vlog. So if you haven't checked out the vlogs, Definitely check those out. I'll link them down in the description box below and then in some cards above. So this is just the butterbeer fudge that I didn't finish. Next, I got two lollipops and basically everything from that bag is like Honeydukes themed. So you're gonna see some more candy. So this is the Dark Mark lollipop and this is only $3.95. Next, I got the Acid Pop. So it's just this green pop. I'm pretty sure it's sour. And this retails for $3.95. Next, I got the Glacial Snowflakes. They are white chocolate, I think. I don't know, I've never had these before. They're peppermint melted snowflakes. I think they're white chocolate peppermint, but I'm not really sure. It says melt in your mouth. So that is the packaging. And these are $6.95. Next are the Caramel Cobwebs. I've never tried these before either, so that's why I went ahead and picked them up. These are $7.95. Next is something that I've been wanting to add to my collection because I have the Chocolate Frog tin, and now I have the Birdie Bots tin. It's so cute, I love the little tassel. So it does have actual birdie bots in here and here's a little window to see the beans. <laughs> and it's just so cute. It's gonna look so good displayed on my bookshelves. So that's why I picked it up. I think that they're just more durable than the actual like cardboard boxes because you can display those as well. I have in the past, but then they've gotten ruined so then I've had to toss them. So now I'm glad to add the tin into my collection, especially because I don't really enjoy eating the beans, <laughs> if you know what I mean. There is some really bad flavors in here and some good flavors. So it's that 50-50 shot to get one of the two. <laughs> and these retail for $25. All right, next I got two of these bags since I spent so much money at Honey Dukes. They do have a sale on these. I don't know what these cost normally because they took the tags off. But if you spend 35, you can pick up these little lunch bags for only $15 a piece. And if, I guess it's at every $35 increment because I got both of them at $15. And on the inside, it is just insulated. So this is gonna be a great go-to if I ever wanna bring it to like the beach when I'm bringing some snacks and drinks or anywhere that I wanna bring this to. I could bring it to work and use it as a lunchbox. Thought it was just really nice. So I did pick up this Honey Dukes bag and I just got a second one because it was such a great deal. All right, I got a few more candies to show you. So I also got the Choco Chalk. I've never tried this before. It seems very interesting. It says dark chocolate with chili powder. That's what it says right there. <laughs> so the packaging is adorable. So I definitely wanna try these out and then I'll probably keep the packaging on my Honeydew shelf. Next is something I've always wanted to try, which is the Exploding Bonbons. So I believe that these are white chocolate with orange and pineapple flavored bonbons in here. So, very intrigued to try these out. These retail for $9.95 and the packaging is just too cool. <laughs> oh, and the, the Choco Chalk retails for $11. Next are my all-time favorite candy. So this is one that I get almost every time I go because I love dark chocolate peppermint. 
So I always pick these little peppermint toads up and these retail for $10, which is crazy. These have definitely gone up in price because I know I've bought these in the past for I believe $7.95. So they've definitely been marking them up. I know they do that periodically. They do up their pricing and stuff like their Hogwarts cloaks. Those have gone up in price. Like they used to be $100. And now I think they go for like $140, which is crazy. So they do mark things up there. Next is another candy item I've never tried, which is the Fizzing Whizbees. These are some chocolate covered like fruit, I think. I've never tried them. So it just says on here, made with chocolatey fizzy fruits. I think it's like Pop Rocks and like fruity flavored chocolate. I don't know, we'll find out. So that is this one and the packaging of course is super cool on these. That is what's so fun. Like look at all the different shapes that these chocolates come in or candy. <laughs> well, I guess these are all chocolates. So I got all of those, got like 10 candy items. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see me do like a dedicated video trying each one out and letting you know how they taste and everything. I've only ever tried these ones and the Birdie Bots I've tried before too, but I'll try them out for you guys on video if you want me to. <laughs> but definitely let me know. If not, I'll just enjoy them with my husband if you guys are interested in seeing that. Totally okay either way. All right, next is in some tissue paper. So there's two items in here and they are some Christmas ornaments. So we've got Dumbledore and it has a lenticular inside just like the chocolate frog cards do, but this is a metal ornament and these are pretty expensive. These are $24 a piece. I know, I know, it's crazy. I debated, I bought these on the last day I was there because I really want to do a honeydew themed Christmas tree. So that's why I did get two of them and I ended up just getting Dumbledore and Godric Gryffindor since I am a Gryffindor, but they do have them available in each of the founders houses plus Dumbledore. So here is Godric's Gryffindor's lenticular. I don't know. I think that's showing up and they are really nice and they're good quality. It's just $25 for one ornament. All right. So yeah, I did do that. I bought two ornaments. <laughs> I can help myself. But yeah, I got those. All right, we got another bag. So I think I just have two big items in here. Nope, I got a couple things. All right, another empty bag. All right, next is in this bag and it kind of goes with the last items I was talking about. Not kind of, it definitely goes with the last items I was talking about. And it was in this little bag. They're wrapped up in tissue paper, if you have any guesses. All right, you're gonna think I'm crazy, but I got two more ornaments and they're the same thing. They are the Birdie Bots Every Flavor Bean Ornament. They're thin, but they're metal. So they're just gonna be facing out this way. So I did get a total of four Honeydukes themed ornaments. And yeah, I did that. <laughs> These ones are $15 versus the other ones that were 24, which is still crazy. Okay, so 15 each for these every flavor bean ornaments. They're pretty simple. They don't have any like lenticular thing to them. So that's probably why they're less expensive than the other ones. But yep, I got those. And to finish off the Honeydukes theme, Christmas, <laughs> I got two things of this Honeyduke ribbon. Cause like I said, I'm gonna do a Honeydukes theme tree. And I guess I should just say, it's gonna go on that tree. <laughs> That's why I didn't get too many ornaments because it is for a smaller tree that is a four foot tree that I purchased from Michaels. And I am gonna be doing a video just decorating it. And I've got some more ornaments to add to it, but I did pick up these things with that in mind. So I got two spools of this and each one costs $17 a piece. They did have a deal on ribbon. I don't know if it include the Honeydukes because it was only near the house ribbons. They were like four for something. You probably saw it in the vlogs. I'm sure I included it, but I did just get these two and they didn't say anything about it being included. But I didn't need four. I don't even think I need two. I probably only needed one, but I didn't want to have not enough and be three hours away from Orlando. So <laughs> I just went ahead and grabbed the two of them. All right, next is for some things that are gonna go on my bookshelves. So the first item is this new item that they have at Universal and it is the blast ended screw. It's a pullback toy 
and I got it to display it with my Hagrid on the Hagrid shelf. This retails for $20, which I thought wasn't too bad for theme park items. So I will definitely be taking this out soon and putting it on the bookshelf. But that is the blast ended script, which I think is cool that they had that because this is not a movie item. This is a book item and you don't see too many of those especially licensed so thought that was extra special all right next is also a hagrid kind of themed item and it is the monster book of monsters so this one actually kind of like shakes and like sounds like it's biting and crazy so it says handle with care i bite and this is what he looks like this is something i've been wanting to pick up for a while now this retails for 37 dollars and it just has really great detail. I haven't seen anything else for like a replica item to represent the Monster Book of Monsters. They do have a notebook that you can buy that's pretty cool. I think it's 25 bucks. It's so expensive, but it's a notebook. And this is an actual item that acts and looks really like the one from the movie. That's why I wanna pick that up. And look, he even has his tongue sticking out of the pages. His teeth look extra creepy and he's got all his creepy yellow eyes so fuzzy and soft i just love it so that's why i got that one all right that was everything from that bag now i've got i think just one more main bag i guess i'll show you my next bag it, i don't think there's any wizarding world stuff in here this is just their universal bag but it's kind of funny so I'm gonna show you. So we played some of the carnival games in the Simpson area and we won. So I think for this one, I had to like pop balloons and I got this crazy wig that goes on your head. I'm not gonna shove it on my head because I'm gonna really ruin my hair, but it's so funny. So you definitely put it on your head. I think it's more sized for kids than it is for adults, but you can get it on your head just with a lot of effort. So I won this, it's from the Simpsons. Okay, so the next thing that's in the bag is this pumpkin and it's so cute. So for this one was a game that you had to like knock down clowns with like a baseball. So I knocked down two out of three. So I got the second place prize, which was this, which was still pretty nice and really big. The games over there were $8 to play. So I got each item for eight each, so 16 and it was fun. I definitely would want to play more games. It's kind of addicting when you go over there. But then it got to the point where I was like, where am I gonna put all this stuff? For this one, I'll put away with my like Halloween decorations. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with that wig, but it's fun. <laughs> all right, that's everything from the Universal bag. All right, next is just a small bag. And here is something I got from the Weasley's Wizard Weezes shop. And it is a magical creature. He is just like this hard kind of plastic. He's not like, he's squishy, but not like super cheapy feeling you know, kind of squishy. <laughs> a little harder than like a rubber duck is how I would describe it. And this is actually the Niffler before like Nifflers were in Fantastic Beasts. So this is what they kind of mocked up of what they looked like. So I think it's so cool that they still sell them at the Weasley shop. And he is so cute. So he's gonna go with my Weasley shelf. And he is $14.95 and we have to name him so what are some names? I feel he's a boy, that's why I keep saying he. So leave some names down in the comment section below of what we should name him. So I will take you guys' suggestions down in the comments. Maybe the one that gets the most likes is what I'll go with, but we'll see what you guys come up with. I think he's so adorable. Look at his blue eyes. Here's your good look at him. Do you have any ideas? Another empty bag. All right, we are down to our last and final bag. There are bags inside of this bag, but it's our last big one. And I got the reusable totes. I think these were $6 for the large ones. I know I showed the signs when I was there. I don't see the tag for this bag, but they're really cute. They have the Wizarding World logo on it, and then they have these little details on the corners with each of the Hogwarts houses, and it's just blue and gold, and I think it's so pretty. All right, first item, it makes noises, but it is the Godric Gryffindor sword. It even says his name down the sword, if you can see that, just like the sword does. But this one retails for $20, 
and it's so cool. I really want the replica from Noble Collection, but that one is very expensive, like more than $100. So for now, this will be the item that I have that can represent that. I was thinking with command strips, I could add it to my wall as a display piece, and that's probably how I'll have it up. It's definitely like a children's toy kind of S because it is made of plastic, but it does make noise and it lights up. <laughs> I think that is so cool. Yep, try me, light and sound. It's motion activated. It just says swing your sword for a light and sound effect. So that is the Gryffindor sword. All right, next is an item that I knew I was going to buy. I think it's the first item I picked up to buy because I knew I really wanted this item when I saw it, but it is the Thestral plushie. It's so soft and it just looks so good. Like, look at the wings. I don't gravitate towards a lot of plushies. I know I have like a Hedwig plushie. I can see her over there. She hangs out with my Mirror of Erised. But I just thought this one was so cute. I'm not into collecting like every single plushie that's out there, but there are some that are really cool. You don't see a lot of Thestral items. So when I do see them, I really jump on them because I just, oh, they're just so cool. And this plushie retails for $35, which I do think that's very expensive for a plush toy. But I did it anyways because I really wanted it. So it is what it is. <laughs> but that is the Thestral plushie. And my dog has already tried to pull her out of the bag. So I have to keep her probably pretty high up on my shelf. I'll probably put it on the very top. I just don't want her to get it because she will tear it apart. <laughs> oh, another item I got is another bag. So they had both sizes, that large bag, and then they had the smaller one. I think this one was four and the other one was six. So here is an up close of the smaller bag so you can really see those details. But I love my reusable bags. And since they're on the lower price point, I had to get it. All right, so I only have three more bags left inside that giant bag. So this big bag is finally empty and we have those three smaller bags to go through. All right, next is this Hogwarts Express pullback engine. And it's just a small little replica of the Hogwarts Express. And you can pull it back, like it says, and I'm sure it just goes. But I want to display this on my shelf, and I like that it's a very small item. And it'll easily fit on any of the shelves that I have. They had this also in the night bus, but these are $16.95. And I have seen it in the past as the Ford Angula car to the Weasley car. That was the one I really wanted as well because I wanted to have that item on my shelf. I mean, I have it in a Lego form in a little felt form, but I wanted a little like plastic replica. But now I have the Hogwarts Express. And since I have the Lego night bus, I didn't get that one. But I probably will get it maybe in the future if they still have it. I did snag this one, but $16.95 for this small item. I feel like it's kind of steep for that, so, but it's theme park, theme park prices. All right, so I took this out of the packaging now, and it's very light and obviously plastic, no metal at all. Oh, that might be metal, but it feels pretty cheap in your hand, and for something that cost almost 20 bucks, kind of crazy to me. Here's some up-close detail. It does look just like the Hogwarts Express, but for the price and the quality, I don't think it was worth it. But just wanna give you my honest feedback now that I have it out of the packaging. All right, next item out of this bag, and that one will be empty. Oh, they put it in another bag. They wanted to keep this one secure, which I really appreciate. I was so excited about this one. All right, so this is a new item to the park. Like they just released it not even a month ago, like I think like weeks ago or a week ago. It is the Butter Beer Glass Cup. And this is in a glass cup that's more featured on the films. So it looks more authentic to the story. So I am so happy they made this addition. They do have the like bigger one. That's just like a cylinder kind of glass and it's like a big stein almost. And now I have this really beautiful, ornate looking butterbeer glass. So pretty. And this retailed for $17. And I love this. This was another one that was like on the top of my list I have to get. So I'm so glad they had this available and I was able to snag it. I feel like I went at a good time that they just released this so I was able to get it. All right, final two bags. <laughs> I'll do this little one first. 
Oh, and they put it in bubble wrap. All right, it is a Christmas ornament and it is the Hogwarts castle in a frame form and you can just hang it on your Christmas tree. I thought it was so beautiful. You can get this personalized on the bottom here, but I did opt out because I'm not quite sure what I wanted written on there. I could always go back and bring it and they will customize it for you. And this was $18 and 95 cents. I definitely want to put a picture in there with like someone that I go to Universal with, I think will be extra special. So I'm excited to put a picture in here and then add it to my Christmas tree. And here's the backside. All right, we're on our last bag and I think I just have three items in here. All right, that one is empty. It's in a Universal bag, but it was from the Christmas shop up front. So that's the bags that they have. And you can now tell what the theme is. All right, so this is not even actually a Harry Potter item. It was just from the Christmas store, like I said. But when I saw it, I needed it. because I'm gonna display this on my Christmas tree, but I'm also, after Christmas, gonna display this on my bookshelves. This is a beautiful snowy owl in flight like how stinking cute i loved the wings so i just had to buy her she's a really good size like if you can see compared to my hand she is very big this retailed for 15 dollars for my flying snowy owl so cute and i also bought these two snowy owls so it came in this little two pack for $15 as well and it's just two snowy owls and they are Christmas ornaments here are their little strings if you can see that they're clear so you can add these to your Christmas tree and I can display them afterwards as well they're just so cute I'm a sucker for a cute snowy owl we are finally on our very last item <laughs> I had so much stuff from this trip all right the last item is Ron Weasley's dress robes and it's on this like hanger you can see the little hook it's so cute but it also has the Christmas ornament little hook as well and these are $21.95 which is crazy crazy um, I believe they were a lot cheaper back in the day but now they have like a deal where you can buy six of them for a hundred dollars which I think would be the complete set that they have. They have Hermione's dress from the Yule Ball, they've got Victor Crumbs, they've got Cho Chang, Ron Weasley, I know they have some other, they probably have Harry Potter's, oh and Ginny Weasley's. So I think that's all six that they have and then if you get all six you can get them for a hundred bucks. So it is a better deal to do it that way, but it's still very expensive. Only reason why I justified getting Ron's is because after Christmas, I'm going to actually add a little like thumbtack or something to the bookshelf and hang it there. So it's with my Weasley shelf because I think that's gonna look really cool displayed. So that's how I justified getting this because I will display it all year round and not just Christmas. And just to mention, I do have a Harry Potter Christmas tree, which is my main tree that I have in my living room. And then this tree is a new tree, which is gonna be the Honeydukes theme tree. So those will probably be in videos on their own coming out on this channel. So make sure to be subscribed if you want to see and get notified when those come out. But that is actually everything in today's Universal Studios Wizarding World of Harry Potter haul. And I just had so much fun there on my trip celebrating my birthday with my best friend. It was such a blast to go and I definitely treated myself. I bought so many things, but now I have an annual pass so I'll be able to go in the future. I'd love to make another trip out in December, maybe just for the day, we'll see, but I won't be spending this much money, that's for sure. This was just kind of a special occasion because it was my birthday and I had some money saved up to do so. One thing that surprised me is I didn't actually buy any clothing merch. I personally didn't see anything there that I felt I wanted to spend the money for because a lot of their t-shirts retail for $35 and then things just go up from there. So I'd rather spend my money on some items that I can have displayed, some things that I can use, some Christmas items, and then some of the candy because I haven't tried out a lot of those. So that is the only reason why you probably didn't see any clothes in this one. I do like to buy a lot of my clothing from small shops as well. I just think they come out with just some really creative, awesome items. Like the sweater I'm wearing today, it says welcome home and it has Hogwarts. This sweater is from the common room shop. I can link it in my description if you would like. Oh, that is the only reason why you didn't see any clothes. There were a few things that I wanted on my list, but I ended up getting different stuff 
instead because they were out of stock currently when I went there. The items that I really wanted was the Triwizard Cup. I know you can get it on Amazon, so maybe I'll just try that. I just don't remember the price point um, difference, so I'll have to check that out. The I wanted to get the little skulls that they have in Nocturne Alley, and I wanted to put them on my dark art shelf, but they said that those were out of stock currently. They only had the big ones, and I wanted the little ones, so they didn't have those. There was a butterbeer mug that I wanted. It kind of looked like a barrel of butterbeer, and they didn't have those in stock. So there was a few things that I didn't get on this trip that hopefully they'll restock by the next time they go, and they didn't just discontinue those items, I hope. But we'll see. And a lot of the items that I have in this haul, they do sell on the Universal website. So if there is something that you're interested in and you can't get out to the parks, but you can order it online, I'll leave that shop link down in my description box below so you can check that out. Also, one thing to note is that since I do have my preferred annual pass, I do get a bell. I think it's a 10% discount off of all merchandise and most food there at Universal. So I know I gave you all the price points for everything of what they are listed, like full retail. I did save a little bit of money on each item. So for instance, like the Honey Dukes ribbon, I did buy two of those, but I saved $3.40. So here is my receipt, and it shows that discount right here, $3.40 with the preferred pass. So all of my receipts do show that. So like I saved $5.70 here, I saved $1.50 here, $1.30 here, all kinds of stuff. So I definitely did save a little bit with that discount. So that's another thing to know. If you do have a pass, make sure you're always using it and always ask if they accept the discount and just bring out the card and they'll scan it for you. Also, if you buy any of the items, like if you want to shop when you first get there or you have some really big bulky items, I played those carnival games and I have those big items, they do allow you to do like front of the park pickup. So at that Universal store actually in City Walk is where you pick it up. So here is like a ticket for that. So they just scan your items and then they give you a receipt that you just have to bring with you. So you just have to make sure you hold on to one receipt and then you don't have to hold on to all your items throughout the park while you're there and you can just enjoy your time and go on rides and not worry about locker situation. So that is just another tip that you can do. You just ask the cashier and they'll have someone bring it up to City Walk and you can just get it on your way out. But that is going to wrap up today's haul. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.